Hey, I'm Jazz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be making macarons from scratch. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And without further ado, let's get to baking. Okay, so first and foremost, we are going to be weighing out our powdered sugar in our almond flour. I'm doing this in a separate bowl because I want to get the measurements right and I have to sift them into the actual bowl that I'm going to be using. So this is just an extra dish that we're going to have to wash, but all for the right measurements. I'm doubling the recipe and it calls for 150 grams of almond flour and powdered sugar. But again, since we're doubling, we're going to do 300 grams. I would be lying to you guys if I didn't tell you that I did actually make a batch earlier today. I'm doing this for my mom's birthday. It's her birthday today as I'm making this, which would be yesterday for you guys as you're watching this. She specifically asked for strawberry and pistachio flavored macarons. I have never made macaron shells that were flavored. So I looked up some recipes, tried it out. Horrible, absolutely horrible. It went terribly wrong. Everything that you thought that could go wrong went wrong. And this recipe has never done that to me. She's gonna be basic vanilla and then I'm gonna just flavor the buttercream instead. So as I said, I'm gonna sift this all together. I'll actually insert a video of how the first batch went down. This almond flour is actually real thick. Anytime now, yeah. Please sift all down, yeah. And now, 300 grams of powdered sugar. Hopefully I still have powdered sugar. I do, I don't know why I was being so dramatic. I don't have the mental capacity to do this. On to the eggs. Let's try to get this right. Love that for me. We don't want absolutely any yolk. You know what? I think I am just gonna use my hands, so sorry if this makes you uncomfortable. I just can't afford to lose any more today. Okay, this is the part that's a little bit time consuming about this recipe. Everything is done in intervals. So I'm gonna whip this for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna add in the cream of tartar and vanilla, I wanna say. Sorry, cream of tartar and salt. And then after that, I'm gonna be adding the sugar one tablespoon at a time every 30 seconds. It's a lot of work. We are just going to check this. She is a stiff peak. Taking my spatula, getting all of this out of there. Now we're gonna fold in our dry ingredients a third at a time. I'm so tired of this motion. I kid you not, I was folding in that stupid pistachio batter for like 15 minutes and it just would not work. This is where the problem comes in. Cause I need to fold this until it basically deflates. But as I just express, I'm so tired of doing this stupid motion. Honestly, we'll reconvene when I start piping cause it's gonna get a little bit messy and I'll bring you along obviously for the buttercream. Do not get mad. Don't get mad with me. I almost had a mental breakdown, which is kind of a reoccurring theme whenever I actually do macarons. I didn't film the piping. Some of them are right there. Right now I am working on my buttercream. This process I will skip because this takes about 20 minutes. So when I go and start whipping it on my stand mixer, adding in the butter, the vanilla, and the flavoring, that's when I'll really start filming more. I just wanted to keep you guys updated and sort of inform you about the misfortunate events that have occurred. Guys, like I'm actually not even kidding you. Nothing is going right today. Oi, 
She has a cree. I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Like, Don't oh. waste the next job! But I have to. I am, um, I, I'd rather just not deal with this. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is switch to the paddle attachment. This on medium and then add the butter. Just want to scrape down the bowl. We're gonna add the last stick of butter. I'm gonna add my flavoring, which is just some strawberry jam. And as I mentioned, my mom wanted strawberry and pistachio. As expected, as my day has proven to be nothing but an absolute shit show, my mallet broke to crush the pistachios. So strawberry it is. I think I'm just gonna do a, a spoonful. Also, I did that so confidently as if I knew that strawberry jam was how to flavor this. I actually don't know, but it's what I got, so it's what we're gonna do. Does this taste of strawberries? No. I'll do another scoop. It doesn't really taste of anything, but at this point, I'm over this. Guys, I am an utter disgrace. Like, what is that? So, so like, some of them came out like this. Some of them don't even wanna freaking bake. And then you have these like mediocre ones. Mediocre? And mediocre is being generous. <sighs> Today was not my day. I have video proof of me being able to make macarons on my TikTok. I don't know why today was just so quad. Let's just try to ice some of them, see what we can make look good if that's even possible. And we'll go from there. A sad angle for a sad excuse of a human being. I'm just, I picked out the ones that were close in size and that didn't completely rip off the bottom. <sighs> we're just gonna ice four. And then I will end your misery from watching this. Or you know what, you might've just clicked off. I don't blame you. Yay. Maybe it's cause I'm tired. Maybe it's cause I worked in such a rush when I got home. Like it's now 10 p.m. My mom's birthday is done. <laughs> That's what they look like. That's it for this week's video. If I was getting paid for this, I'd have to give you a refund. This is awful. But on the off chance that you did enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a like. Again, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.